We're in the middle of a period that I refer to as a period of combinatorial innovation. So if you look historically, you'll find periods in history where there would be the availability of different component parts that innovators can combine and recombine to create new inventions. So in the 1800s, it was interchangeable parts. In 1920, it was electronics. In the 1970s, it was integrated circuits. And now what we see is a period where you have internet components, we have software, protocols, languages, capabilities to combine these component parts in ways to create totally new innovations. The great thing about the current period is the component parts are all bits. That means you never run out of them. You can reproduce them, you can duplicate them, you can spread them around the world, and you can have thousands and tens of thousands of innovators combining and recombining the same component parts to create new innovation. So there's no shortage, there's no inventory delays. It's a situation where the components are available for everyone, and so we get this tremendous burst of innovation that we're seeing.